The VZ Dam on the Penobscot River once helped power the industrial might of eastern Maine, often though at the expense of the wildlife swimming below it. But in 2013, the dam was taken down to help restore a route for Atlantic salmon and other species to make their way north. New Center Maine's Donovan Lynch shows us the impact of the effort one decade later. A current roars past the site of the old VZ Dam. For a century, great turbines harnessed the power of the Penobscot River, but they also denied Atlantic salmon a way upstream to where the Penobscot Nation is. Without the salmon returning to the reservation waters, um, there was a piece of us that was lost culturally. As part of the Penobscot River restoration project, the VZ Dam was removed in 2013. The goal? returning fish to their historic migration routes. They would swim all the way to Mount Katahdin originally. They would swim all the way up into Baxter Park. Ten years later, and there's good news. Daniel McCaw, the fisheries program manager for the Penobscot Nation, says fish populations are rebounding. I think it's exciting to see the start of what could be a fantastic recovery story. According to counts from the Maine Department of Marine Resources near the Penobscot Indian Island Reservation, numbers of endangered Atlantic salmon are up 179 percent from 2015, and American shad have surged 428 percent in that same time period. Chuck Loring, the Penobscot Nation's Director of Natural Resources, says the changes are visible. You know, you can go down to the river. If you watch closely, you'll be able to see the salmon. Um, making the migration up the river. Despite this recovery, salmon runs still aren't anywhere near pre-industrial levels, and fishing them for keeps is still off limits, in part because the VZ Dam was only one piece of a larger industrial footprint through the Penobscot. The challenging thing about salmon recovery is that salmon, Atlantic salmon here in Maine, they need the entire river. And according to the National Atmospheric and Oceanic Administration, there are more than 100 dams still on the Penobscot River alone, hampering multiple fish's migratory patterns in Maine. But with populations of several species trending upwards, the 10-year anniversary of the VZ Dam coming down is leading Chuck Loring towards an optimistic vision. For me, knowing they're back here, knowing that there's a chance that future generations will be able to hopefully, you know, jump back on. In VZ, Donovan Lynch, New Center, Maine.